Alrighty guys, in this next video, we're going to be looking at how to remove K from our CMYK. And this will be in Coral Draw. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.ca.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos. We also have daily updates. Otherwise, we're back into the program here. So now in the previous video, we looked at actually putting an image in our file and converting it to CMYK. And uh, converting to CMYK is quite an important step as we're going to need that information for removing the K. We can't easily do that without. So now what we're going to do is with make sure once again your image is selected. So either you can select it here on the actual object manager or you can just click on your image, but make sure you're on your selection tool, which is this little cursor here on the top left on our toolbar. So as you can see there, we've got that uh, pick tool, we selected our image, and now we've got our transform arms, which means it is selected. Now, the next thing you want to do is remove the actual key. Now, this can get tricky. I found in my software where if I've already set up the um, color mixer, then uh, sometimes I run into problems, but we'll look afterwards how to fix that. So now what we want to do is with our image selected, we want to go to effects. Then we want to go to adjust. So it's the first one, effects, adjust. And then let me zoom in here. Sorry, I call the color mixer, I mean channel mixer. So we go effects, adjust, and under adjust, we want to go right to the bottom. And we can see over here, channel mixer. Now if we click that, it's going to pop up some options. The moment we've not set anything so i will show you what it looks like if we messed it up but for now it's fine so now what we want to do is under our color mode we want to make sure that this is set to cmyk not rgb or lab so cmyk and then the output channel here yeah, we want to select our actual black so we can remove any of the other channels but um yeah what we want to do is if our black and our ink and our printer is done you could try fake it with only having CMY. I mean, uh, yeah. So we go black, and then right at the bottom here, we can see on the, or shows on the left, we've got um, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. And then the black is currently set to 100. So now what we want to do is we want to either by clicking this little slide and dragging it, or I'm just going to double click here, type in zero, and then it should remove it for us. Now, currently I'm not seeing an update, so let's click preview and preview again, see if there's anything, still nothing. So I'm gonna say, okay. Like I said, this can be some slow buggy. Now what I'm gonna do is just repeat exactly the same process. I'm gonna go effects, adjust, channel mixer, and then let's see, there we go. Now we can nicely see how black has been removed. So currently we should have zero black. So I'm gonna say, okay. And then now what we can do is I'm just going to go to the color picker here on the left. If I select that, then let's hover over the darkest colors. And then, okay, currently you can't see it. There we go. If I zoom down a bit, you can see there that um, the K is currently zero. If I go here by the hair, it should do the same. I'm just going to zoom out. I hope you guys can see this. But the right bottom one is K is zero. So we know, okay, great. The actual black is gone. So now if you have a filter already set up and it messes around with that preview, what you can do is you just duplicate your image. Then you go effects, adjust, you do the channel mixer, you reset your actual uh, filter. So you'll see at the bottom here, we have a reset option. You'll say reset, say okay. And then what you do is you delete the layer, the duplicate one, and then you do the same process we just did. Sometimes that feature seems a bit buggy. I'm not too sure why. But yeah, otherwise that is it on removing the black. Um, in the meanwhile, before we carry on, if we head here to softwaretraining.ca.za, you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover. And you can also isolate your search on the top right. If you do not, however, find the training videos you're looking for, just simply go here, request the training video, fill in the mini form, and then we'll do our best to try and make that for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching. Until next one, cheers.